Hey guys, NSC85, and I'm here with a tabletop review of this flashlight mount that I've been using for a while now. And I want to talk about it a little bit. This is the MHA Custom Bright Shot Flashlight Mount. And you may be asking yourself, okay, well that's cool, it's a flashlight mount. Big whoop de doo But this is actually really cool. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, it's made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. And this is one solid piece of aluminum I mean, this thing is a beast and what's different about this is that it doesn't attach to a Picatinny rail it attaches directly to modular rails such as my Geisley Mark 3 and it's also available for the Geisley Mark 1 the Mark 2 the Mark 3 Midwest Industries Gen 2 all of them that you see right there that's what it's currently available for right now and it's also available in the flashlight diameter of 0.825 inches and also one inch I have the one inch model for this uh, surefire here that I have with the custom MHA logo so let's dive right in to talking about this well, first things first let's talk about the weight Weight is always important when it comes to a firearm that you're maybe going to be using on a daily basis, if it's a duty weapon, something of that nature, uh, if you're just trying to save weight. And for as solid as this is, it comes in at 2.2 ounces. Now if you include the screws and the mount that you need for your rail, my Geisley Mark III rail uses this type of mount. Put that on there plus the two screws. We are at 2.6 ounces. So I have to say that's pretty light. I don't think that really adds that much weight. Now remember I had said that this attaches differently than the normal flashlight mounts. Uh, typically you'll have a pick and tinny rail that you'll see here only on all four sides on a quad rail. On a modular rail you may have small sections of Picantini rail. This is my uh, tactical link PRM mount for quick detach. And this is just an example here. It attaches to the small part that then gets screwed onto the rail. Well, this alone adds some weight and it also adds a little bit of profile, right? Well, what this mount does is it attaches directly to the rail, which helps with it maintaining a low profile. Insulation super easy. Now it's going to be different for different types of rails, but on my Geisley Mark III, which is also typical of the other Geisleys, I'll go ahead and install this through the slot in the back. As you can see, that gives me the two threads. And you can see two holes here. That's to put the screws in place. Set this over. It comes with two screws. It also comes with an Allen key, but I'm using my 1 8 inch t-wrench here and we'll just put that right into place there and I'm gonna go back and forth here a little bit just to make sure they're evenly torqued down and they don't need to be over torqued and once you have it secure I mean it's it is not going anywhere it is solid. I really cannot describe to you how solid this is without showing that it's it's truly not going anywhere. And if you want to, after you get this tightened down, back one of these out, put some thread lock on it, put it back on, and then do the same to the other. Now for the flashlight, that's also pretty simple. You can see there's a tiny screw down here. I'm just going to back that out. This is the piece that holds the flashlight in place as you can see it slides there I'm gonna come from this side on some flashlights you might have to take the end cap off but in this case I don't need to once you get your flashlight in you just tighten her down and it's good to go that's literally all there is to it now one interesting feature and I'm just gonna go ahead and back this out real quick I think this is really neat and this adds a lot to how secure this is you see these screws located in here 
that attach it to my forend. Now I've had like my TLR1 HL which is on this build. Okay, this this is also a modular rail and you can see it's attached to a, a small Picantini rail piece there. But I have had this back off on me and this light has been flopping around like a crappie and it almost fell off. What's neat about this is that if for whatever reason these screws back out, if your light is in here, the screws can only back out so much. There's no way it can come off because those screws can only back out so much. I think that's really neat. I think that's a cool design feature. It just makes it that much better. It's kind of like uh, dumb proofing it, I guess, almost. But like I said, super secure. It's lightweight. It is a solid piece of aluminum. It's also type 3 hard anodized, which matches the rest of my build, which is awesome. You guys know I'm about aesthetics, so that's really neat too. The price point on these are about $75, plus I'm assuming they're shipping and handling. And the website you want to visit is right here, which is xlvacp.com. And again, here's another look at which rails they're currently available for. The Midwest Industries Gen 2 is a really popular one, so I'm assuming quite a few of you have that. But if you're looking for a rock solid mount, is probably going to last longer than my AR-15 will, you might want to check them out. Tom Ennis, 85 sent you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Take care, guys. See you later.